Hi there, this is Michael Leahy, Chairman of the Irish Freedom Party, and I want to talk to you today about two uh, people who are primarily associated with our justice system and with uh, law and order. Uh, they are Mr. Drew Harris, the Guard Commissioner, and uh, Helen McEntee, the Minister for Justice. Um, first of all, when we turn to Ingardi Siakana, I think it is fair to say that there has been a collapse of morale within that force over the past number of years. Um, we have seen the increasing difficulty that the government is having in recruiting people to join the Garda Shiokana. And more significantly, <coughs> we've seen an unprecedented number of resignations from the force, something that was unknown before, uh, that large numbers of Garda would resign uh, well before their um, retirement dates. Um, we also hear, um, I'm informed um, personally by a number of people who who are aware of these things, many of the senior officers of the Garda Shikana no longer take the Garda Commissioner very seriously and will not um, obey his uh, direct instructions in regard to the nature of policing within their own areas. This has uh, culminated very recently in the quite unprecedented move of the rank and file members of the Garda Shikana uh, to uh, propose a, a motion of no confidence in Mr. Drew Harris as Garda Commissioner. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And it is a most unusual and uh, unprecedented event for a disciplined, uh, uniform force uh, to propose a motion of no confidence in its leader. This is not something that you would associate with a force which, a force which depends on esprit de corps and internal morale. But nevertheless, that has happened. And while certain reasons have been given for it, I think the reasons to, to understand the reasons you must look a bit more deeply. Mr. Drew Harris was a parachute into. Uh, the leadership of Angarda Shirkana from an outside force, uh, namely the Royal Irish Constabulary, which is one of the most dysfunctional and probably one of the most corrupt police forces uh, in, in, in modern European history. Uh, I think even they would admit that themselves. Um, he also has alleged connections with the British Secret Service with MI6. He has a high-handed um, method of dealing with his officers. Um, the guards in this country, the Guard Shikana, have always been characterized by a high level of contact with the people, with the public. And you cannot have effective policing where you do not have that trust and contact between the guards and, and the people. But the high-handed Northern Irish style policing that uh, is endemic in the force under Drew Harris is completely breaking that bond between the guards and the people. And most of the guards realize that and they're not very happy with it. It seems to me that, that Drew Harris was appointed primarily for political reasons rather than administrative reasons. He was brought in as a new broom to reform the force in some way, but he really hasn't done a terribly good job. And if you look at some of his activities uh, during the COVID crisis, he immediately came out and boasted about the excessive powers that the police had been given. Uh, almost before any restrictions had been enacted, he was boasting about the power that the police would have. Uh, to restrict people's movements and to arrest people for um, activities that had never been regarded as criminal before or in any way dangerous before. Uh, so it's clear that he's somebody who's obsessed with, with um, excessive guard of power. He also has a, an extraordinary habit of commenting on what he calls the far right and making ridiculous inflammatory statements about the far right and the dangers that they represent. There is no far right in this country. Uh, the parties which I represent, the type of parties which I represent, and I'm uh, regularly referred to as being far right, we espouse uh, simple beliefs and belief in democracy, belief in freedom of speech, uh, proper protection of the rule of law. That's what we believe in. Uh, and I'm afraid believing in free speech has now become almost uh, regarded in our, by our government, by our media, and increasingly by our police as being a far right value. I don't think very many Irish people would agree with that characterization. Um, another feature of Angarda Shikana under Drew Harris has been this uh, obsession with appearing uh, behind LGBT banners and uh, waving LGBT flags and participating in pride events and so on and so forth. Now, this is completely inappropriate for the Garda Shikana to engage in. The LGP agenda is it's not a social group, it's a political group, it's a far left political group. And it is no more appropriate for Angarda Shikana to march behind the so-called pride flag than it would be for them to march behind the hammer and sickle or any other political flag of, of a far left or far right organization. 
It's completely inappropriate for uniformed officers to associate themselves with a political movement like the Pride Movement uh, and the LGBT lobby. Um, I'm afraid all this has happened under Drew Harris. He was appointed for political reasons. He's appointed by um, Fine Gael, um, Fine Gael Taoiseach at the time, Fine Gael Minister for Justice. Um, the present Minister for Justice, Helen McEntee, is obsessed with a woke Marxist agenda of hate speech legislation in particular. And that's, that's what she is absolutely associated her ministry with. Uh, that involves the suppression of freedom of speech, uh, the promotion of the idea that there is only one correct form of political opinion to have and to express, and that anybody who expresses opinions outside that narrative is placing themselves on, on the wrong side of the law. There are absolutely draconian penalties being proposed for people who even have in their possession material that a single serving member of the Garda Shikhan regards as having the potential to create hate among some group which claims to be offended by it. Uh, if that legislation is ever passed, it would cause absolute and total mayhem in this country. It would be the death knell of freedom of speech and it would be the death knell of the rule of law in this country. It will have ramifications far beyond merely uh, repressing freedom of speech. It will set people against one another. It will promote hatred and dissension between people in this country. And I sometimes wonder if that is the, if that actually is the intention of the people who framed that legislation. I don't think Helen McEntee uh, fully understands the terrible, terrible forces that she will unleash. It seems to me that this legislation has been written by activists within her own department and the implications it will have for the breakdown of society are truly, truly frightening. Um, what is going to happen with the hate speech legislation is that it will simply take guards away from doing the job that they're best suited to do, which is to fight crime and to protect the public. And it will uh, put guards doing jobs such as attacking the public in order to promote the narrow-minded and um, the prey of political agenda of the people who wrote this legislation. Uh, this, we all know that this hate speech legislation will not be used in a, uh, an impartial manner. Uh, it will, if you think it will be used in the same way against uh, Christians as against Muslims, it certainly will not. It will certainly target Christians. It will target young men. It will target heterosexual men specifically. It's not going to be used against the LGBT mobs who shout hate into the faces of anybody that they disagree with. They will certainly not be targeted by it. They will be defended by it and protected by it because they're classed and they will be treated differently under the law. Under this legislation, they have a right to be treated in a favorable manner under the law. And that's a, that's a direct attack against, against our, our, our legal system. Native Irish people will be attacked by it. Um, we will effectively, uh, under this law, become second-class citizens within our own society. We will not be able to express opinions on the issue of immigration without running the risk of imprisonment. Um, parents who wish to protect their children from the rabid uh, predations of the LGBT mob uh, will find themselves in a very, very difficult situation. If they want to take their, ch their child out of school and express any opinion that may be unfavorable to homosexuality, uh, then they will be in very serious trouble. And this has come from a Fine Gael minister. Uh, what has happened to the concept of Fine Gael as the party of law and order? Uh, the number of, of police officers who will be dedicated to the implementation of this legislation will take them off the streets and put them uh, attacking the people and not defending the people. We in the Irish Freedom Party believe in supporting on Garda Síochána. Garda Síochána is a very fine force with very good contact with the people of the country. That is now being destroyed. And so many guards realize that and so many guards want to bail out and they're not happy with what's happening. We should support them. We should support the Garda Síochána. But the only way we can do that is by getting rid of the two principal actors who have caused this difficulty. Uh, they are Mr. Drew Harris and uh, Helen McEntee. So I would call on their, uh, I'd call the government to look very carefully at the two people they have in charge of our justice system. Law and order is breaking down in our streets. That won't, of course, be reported by Radio Television Sharon. They will only very selectively report certain crimes. They will not uh, report the crimes that are actually taking place. Uh, there was an outcry over uh, one single American tourist being attacked, and that has led to calls from a number of embassies in regard to the level of safety in the streets in Ireland. But that's a very small uh, part of the crime that is taking place in our society, on our streets, and in our cities. A large part of that is that the guards have been taken away from uh, being guards on the beach and being uh, they're, they're involved increasingly in the administration. 
And in social outreach programs, such as the gay outreach program, such as the immigrant and traveler outreach programs, these have a, a, a value, but only a limited, limited value. We must ask to what extent the guards have now become obsessed uh, with politics and are not doing the job that they are intended to do. We will end the unvetted immigration into this country, which has undoubtedly led to uh, increased uh, criminality. Uh, the people who are coming into this country have, uh, we don't know where they've come from, we don't know what their motivations are. And it is increasingly frightening for Irish people to see that happening. It's wrong. When people enter the country illegally, they have broken the law, and they should be treated as such, and they should be um, deported from our country unless they can genuinely establish that they have a good reason for being here. We will stop the hate speech legislation. That will be an absolute priority for us as the Irish Freedom Party. We're the first party, the only party, as far as I'm aware, who made a detailed submission on this at the discussion stage. Sinn Féin are not the answer. Sinn Féin will be far, far worse. They're far more politically correct than, than Fine Gael or than the Greens or than Fianna Fáil. They are worse again. And what they're going to do if they come to power at the head of a coalition government with a weak Fianna Fáil party is they will go through our judiciary and they will go through our Garda Síochána and they will corrupt them. And that would be their intent. And they will break down the rule of law in our society and nobody will have access to even-handed justice. The guards don't want us. The ordinary guards on the street don't want us. They see the dangers of it. And this is why you're getting these unprecedented um, situations where the members of the Garda Síochána are expressing no confidence in the Garda Commissioner, something which has never happened before. We need to get wise to what's happening. Uh, our government parties have been captured by activism uh, and they're increasingly representing a threat to the stability of our society. So I would call on you to look very carefully, uh, come the next elections, come the European elections and vote for the Irish Freedom Party. We will protect your interests, we will protect law and order. And the beginning of that must be that Mr. Harris and Ms. McEntee have to go. Thank you very much.